February 8th, 2022 today. It's minus 4 Celsius outside, but 25 Fahrenheit. It's a lot warmer. It's going to be a good day. It's 6 a.m. It's time to go. Good morning from the highways and byways of southern Manitoba. Coming up to Winnipeg here. This is Highway 59 northbound. Sun's coming up behind me there. It's a beautiful day. It's a good temperature out today too. It's like near the melting point. So it's gonna be good. But we're supposed to have snowstorms later today. So that's the thing with Manitoba. You have two options in wintertime. Two options and uh, neither are good. You can either have it really cold but clear skies, sunshine, but really cold. I mean like really cold or you can have it warmer and more comfortable but blizzard those are your options that's it today looks like we're between like the lull between the sunshine and cold and the warm weather and snow so it's warm weather right now with the Sun coming up but you can see the clouds out west congregating over there already preparing themselves for their party that's coming this afternoon here over southern Manitoba so uh, we're uh, gonna have to brace ourselves for that there's an 89% chance of a snowstorm which is a pretty good chance but there's still a chance 11% that it won't happen okay we're gonna focus on that I got some freight on my trailer it's the same stuff and the same trailer that I was pulling yesterday on the way back from Nipawa Manitoba I got to deliver that into Winnipeg today and we'll figure out what we're doing from there. It was too late by the time I got back yesterday to drop it off then, so we're doing it today. I'm about to have my backing skills tested. I've got this flatbed empty here and I've got to get it in this lot back over here through that gate. It's not the tightest fit ever, we should be okay be a little bit of a blindside back around here but I'm in a day cab with a rear window so that helps a lot makes it a lot easier back in here around to the left and all the way to the back of this lot over to, to back there so there's, there's enough room there's enough room we shouldn't struggle too much Let's see, Let's see what happens. like a lot of fun wow I'm just waiting here to get my second load loaded on me I've got it a an empty step deck behind me again if you can see through this dirty window I need to clean it up here but that is a heavy haul trailer it's got one two Jeeps on the front one on the back here or two on the back and right on here is where the big heavy cargo would sit I wonder how much weight you can pull on this thing. I'm not a heavy hauler and I, I haven't done heavy hauling. That's one part of my career that I haven't explored yet, but 
hopefully one day we'll get there. But that is amazing. That looks like a lot of fun. Can you imagine pulling that down the highway? What a boss. Look at that. Heavy duty. Man. And he's got the weights up front to put more weight on his uh, triac tri drives, triaxle drives. Bet you he's got full locking diffs on all three drives too. That thing is a tank. That thing will only move if the driver wants it to. <laughs> Look at that thing. Oh, it gets me all excited parking next to me making me look like a tiny little mid-sized pickup truck beside him that's okay <laughs> I'm supposed to be uh, there's three of us drivers that came here for uh, a more winter road freight it's going up north on the winter roads and the two drivers that are in front of me they're loading up and I'm the overflow driver if there's anything that won't fit on their trailer they're gonna throw it on my trailer and we're gonna head back after that Chevy 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 what you got to say to the good people I'm Chevy. My dad's home now. Super happy. Super happy. We're gonna we're gonna play tag and we're gonna wrestle and and yeah you gonna do stuff and stuff all the game. Hi guys, it's Weasel. We're gonna do some much cooler stuff than that. Yes. We're gonna be farmers on the PlayStation. Super cool, guys. Super cool. Way cooler than that. I thought my ideas were fun. Chevy, who's that? I think that's Frank. What y'all doing in here? Y'all doing in here? There's a weird little party in here. You guys going out there? I wouldn't mind going too. If you're going. I wasn't going that way, Frank. I wasn't going that way. Well, since we're here, what do you think? So, getting ready for the winter roads. I'm not going on the winter roads, as far as I know. I was asked if I'd be willing to, and I said, yeah, sure, I'd be willing to. Uh, but I don't think they're going to need me. Uh, mainly because I've got to stay close to home. Again, I know I'm like a broken rep of IVF. Uh, the wife and I have a lot of doctor's appointments in the next couple of months, and we have to be ready for them. They're very expensive, and I really don't want to miss even one. So I, I have to be there for all of them. Uh, even if it's just her that needs to go in, I want to be there to drive her there and drive her back. Uh, be a part of the whole process. So I, I can't... I can't just uh, up and leave for however long it takes to go up on the northern ice roads and then risk getting stuck up there. You know, if you get literally stuck or just, you know, snowed in, stuck, and then not being able to be back. I don't think they're going to use me on the winter roads, but maybe next year. We have a few drivers and a few trucks that go up there regularly this time of year, and it gets really busy because there's only a limited amount of time that we have to get everything up there. And I'm not really in the loop on that, so I'm not really the one to tell you how it works or how it goes. All I know is it's really busy right now. That's all. I'm, you know everything I know now. But one day when I do go up there, I'll definitely take you guys with me and show you what it's actually like, really like from my point of view going on the ice roads. I know we've all watched the TV show Ice Road Truckers. Uh, they are from my area in Manitoba. Uh, they, they drive down the same roads that I would be driving down, that we drive down. So you may recognize them in my videos. Maybe it'll be a little more down to earth and realistic. Uh, <laughs> I love the show. I love the show, but when you go up there, I've said it before, when we go up there, uh, there is no camera crew following us around. It's just me and my little GoPro. There's no like medical team in a helicopter just out of camera range and earshot. It's just us. And if something goes wrong, it's just us. No cell phone service. The nearest town is like hundreds of kilometers away, if not more. So it's a little intimidating, but you know, I'm always up for a challenge. As long as I'm going up there in a convoy with one of our other, uh, one of our other drivers so that they can you know, sort of show me the ropes, guide me through, make sure that I don't do anything dumb and get myself stuck or break through the ice. <laughs> I know it'd make Brit very nervous too if I went out on the ice. But, uh, you know, we're professionals, so we know what we're doing, and uh, we'll take all the measures we can to make sure no accidents happen, and that's why I will go up with someone who's done it before, and I'll be able to show you. It'll be pretty, pretty fun, but probably next winter, I'm thinking. Probably next winter. We'll see. Right now, we're just waiting for Britt to come home, actually. Right, Jeff? Mom's coming home? 
She is. Like, very soon. She should be, like, in her vehicle already. Wow! Best day ever. You say mama? Did I hear you say mama? Don't lie to me. Lie to me. I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna get my high you. Is he threatening me again, Chevy? Yeah, he is. If Mama's not on the other side of this door, I'm gonna use my karate and I'm gonna high you, you right in your face. It's kind of violent, Frank. He is a war veteran. Great milk bone war, right? Veteran. Little guy down there. He has seen some stuff, man. He doesn't like to talk about it. Now, I am super spoiled every day. Uh, my wife makes my lunches for me. She makes the best lunches. Tremendous. Uh, but when she works late like this, sometimes I try my hand at it. it just so she doesn't have to put it together when she gets home from work. Uh, I'm sort of like a lost puppy looking for food. I don't know where everything is, but uh, I do my best. There's food in there, but I don't know what's for lunch. One second, I'm, I've already had one. I'm gonna have a bit of a party animal here. Oh, duels. Talked to you about these yesterday, right? Great taste and stuff. Mm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Bread! There's the bread. Now what? Found the bread. Uh, take the bread out of the freezer. Step one. Okay, what does she usually put on here? She usually makes me one peanut butter and jelly and then one meat cheese and meat sandwich. I know I'm spoiled. That's the difference, you see? I know it and I can admit it. And I can enjoy it. What's funny is right after I finished that clip, she rolled in the driveway and then uh, ended up making my lunch for me anyway. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, uh, I am capable of making my own lunch, but uh, it's always better when she makes it for some reason. She makes it taste better. I don't know what she does to it, but I can't make a sandwich the same way. I can't make uh, uh what else she put in there? All the little things that she, she makes my lunch is pretty healthy. And if I make my lunch, they're never as healthy. We'll just put it that way. <laughs> uh, she's trying to keep me in good health, though I'm not always complying because, uh, I like to eat goodies, and, uh, you know, when she's not around to supervise me, sometimes I get carried away. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, we got snow coming down outside again on there. Ah, lovely. This winter has been nuts. Nuts. I shouldn't say nuts. It's, it's a regular Manitoba winter. So, the last couple of winters have not been like Manitoba at all, and we sort of got used to it and got spoiled again, speaking of being spoiled. Uh, but yeah, if uh, if it's not minus 30, minus 50 outside, like freezing cold, it's a blizzard. And if it's not a blizzard, it's warm, but everything's melting and slushy and messy, and you're going through two gallons of washer fluid every day. Uh, or it's a blizzard. Did I say that already? Those are your options. Those are your options. Just a mess, a blizzard, or freezing cold. And that's a regular winter for us here, so I shouldn't be surprised by it. Uh, just the last couple of years, it's been pretty mild, and we haven't had a lot of snow. Uh, this snow is good for all the farmers. Uh, they'll need it for their crops in the summer. And uh, the last couple of years, I know they were suffering because they didn't get enough snow and enough moisture through the winter. So hopefully this year will be better for them, and they can get a really good yield on their crops at the end of uh, at the in harvest season 2022. Uh, wishing them all the best. I'm a farmer myself, actually. Don't mean to brag, but uh, on my PlayStation, Farm Simulator 2022, I've got a little outfit going on. I'm, uh, I'm the boss there. I have no idea what I'm doing yet, and I've only harvested one crop. But, it, man, that game is pretty cool. I'm kind of addicted to it now, so I'm going to go play some of that. <laughs> we'll talk to you tomorrow, everybody. Take care, and uh, stay safe.